Uh, today's video, we're going to go through some conventional deadlifts. I don't really do conventional deadlifts that much. I stick to the sumo, so it's pretty poor in terms of my flex hip flexibility, as well as just the movement in itself. I'm not very comfortable with it, so we're going to go fairly light. Won't go as heavy, but uh, yeah, conventional deadlifts today. What is good YouTube, Marvin here. Today we have a very, very uh, simple workout for you guys. It's just conventional deadlifts. Um, yes, those aren't conventional deadlifts. That's just my warm up. Uh, I warm up with hyper extensions because yeah, it loosens up my lower back for me, loosens up my hip flexors. The conventional deadlift is not one of my strengths. Uh, one of my, my, my strongest lift is a sumo deadlift, not conventional. Um, still warming up here and I've just got the bar literally that I think that's a little bit lighter of a bar as well it's about 15 kilo bar I think it's made out of uh, alu aluminium I'm pretty sure but as you can see my grip is pronated so now with a pronated group um, sorry supinated grip uh, it opens up your shoulders and when, when you're doing any sort of lifting, you want to your shoulders back, ro uh, retract the scapula, keeps your chest up, keeps your back straight, keeps that lumbar vertebra nice and straight. Uh, and I, I just switched back to the normal one because I'm just trying a whole bunch of different grips, warming up all the different muscles that it's going to take. Um, and I'm, I'm actually surprised at how flexible uh, my hamstrings and my glutes are letting me be right now, which um, usually they aren't. So. We also got Russell here today, just doing some black and white fitness. Um, <laughs> and Russell, Russell's story is actually quite uh, amazing in the sense that he's lifting right now. And I'm sure he will pick that up in one of his his vlogs for you guys. Uh, I'll just speed up through all these warm up reps. Um, nothing really exciting there. I'm actually using straps today because. Not because I'm a little bitch or anything, and uh, there'll be a few people saying, "Why are you using straps? It's so light." Blah blah. blah. And to that, I say, "Shut up!" All right? I save my grip for my heavy ass weights. Um, the worst thing you can do is wear away your hands with these lighter weights, and really, when you're going to lift heavier weights, it really sucks balls. So, I'm using straps. I usually use straps with any sort of light weight that I do do. Um, that just makes life easier, really. I'm just lazy in that sense uh, but yeah this conventional deadlifts we're not going for super heavy reps we're not going for um, any sort of PBs all we're doing here today is working on form working on mind muscle connection trying to contract the muscles we are working that's what it's about when you're in the gym especially if you're not going to be a power lifter or a strong man or any sort if you're just going for aesthetics if you're going to build muscle it's the rep ranges the rep ranges aren't really that low they're kind of high so you're looking at 12 reps um, and the weights aren't that high either it's like below 80 percent all the time if you're trying to be a bodybuilder if you're trying to go for aesthetics what matters is your mind to muscle connection are you training the muscle that you're trying to train can you feel those muscles working when you are training that's what you need to ask yourself every time you lift is am i contracting the muscle that i want to contract my deadlift you're working your entire posterior chain now this here really you, you got to concentrate you got to concentrate squeeze your glutes Squeeze your, squeeze your hamstrings, contract your your quads, power through your heels. These are the things that should be going through your head every time you do a deal. Keep your chest up. Make sure your back is straight. Yeah, people look at lifters as meatheads. You try and multitask that much. You try it and you will feel it. Um, I'm just I'm not taking the straps off. I think I had a gut full. Nope, we've transitioned on to just our bent over row. Okay, so we're working a little bit of back today as well. Um, not just the deadlifts. And these are very important. Yeah, these are very important for your upper back strength. Um, 
depending on where you're holding it and grip wise but today we're doing upper back strength because nine times out of ten when you're doing any sort of deadlifts you'll find that your lower back uh, a lot of people round and they round in their lower back now that's not because their lower back is the weakest part of their back it's because the upper back is part of their back and to, to get stronger at deadlifts you got to work each part of your back so that your weaknesses become your strengths so if you're rounding your lower back it's not your lower back that's weak it's your upper back and you're just playing around a little bit guys we always have fun in the gym fitness is fun fitness even though you're pushing yourself is supposed to be fun this is what we do every day so why would you make it a chore why would you make it unbearable um, so yeah back to where we were the, we're doing upright rows contracting those scapula not using your shoulders don't rock so much that your shoulders get involved um, scaring Russell a little bit it's not that hard next we got our whole pull down our lap pull downs uh, again very important we're not going for any world records in weight we're going for contraction we're going for squeezing squeeze those scapula together feel it in your back um, I'll show you an activity in one of our next videos on if you've never if, you, if you've worked your back for a long time and you've never really um, made any progress or any massive sort of gains it's usually because your mind and muscle connection is off so I'll show you an activity you can do that will show you what your back should feel like when you're doing a pull down next uh, we're just gonna exhaust the, the auxiliary muscles here I'm just really doing some very 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 light 21s I think it's just 15 kilos not like again not breaking any records every time you step into the gym you don't need to be breaking records you need to be concentrating on what you're working that's what today's workout is about mind muscle maybe hopefully I've said, said it enough so that you do think about it next time you're in the gym so we've got one more exercise off of this it's just a rope uh, sorry a cable curl nothing too uh, fancy but guys if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more good stuff comment on what you'd like to see I will make a video on anything that you guys want to see and it's better than making videos on what people want to see and people actually watching it than making random videos that nobody wants to watch so don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment below and have an amazing day see you guys next time